kila lana every cross ambayo ilipata halali that has legality hiyo roho ya kulogwa the spirit of bewitched roho ya kulogwa the spirit of bewitchment ambayo imesababisha lana katika maisha yako that was caused cross in your life maana aliyefungwa na lana hawezi kujifungua isipokuwa yule aliyompa mamlaka ya kufungua bwana because the one who is cursed will not be able to unbound himself except the one that you have given authority to abound kila aliyefungwa na lana ya maneno magumu everyone that is bound with the pronounced evil words kila aliyefungwa na lana ya maagenti everyone that is cursed by the cross of their agents kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai nami naiamuru hiyo lana now i command you curse maana sana wakati ndio huu because the time is here ambao mungu amekusudia kuwakomboa watoto wako that god you want to deliver your children katika jina la Yesu Kristo in jesus christ name lana ya mauti deadly curse asema na lana ya mauti kwenye boma lenu i speak to deadly curse lana ya mauti ambayo inasababishwa na magonjwa kwenye boma lenu deadly curse that is caused by sickness in your homes nasema na lana ya mauti ambayo iko kwenye boma lenu i speak about the deadly curse that is in your home lana ya kuonewa the oppressed curse the curse of oppression the curse of not getting what you really want lana ya kuteswa curse of persecution nasema juu ya lana i speak about curses kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai the authority of the name of the lord jesus christ shetani uliosababisha kushika uzao huu kushika familia hii na kuamuru sasa achilia watu hawa devil that you have caused to bound this family to found these children i command you now to release these families kuna watu wengine wanatumiwa na shetani hata hawakupenda watumiwa na shetani wanajikuta ulimwengu wao wa roho wamekamatwa hata wakijaribu kukataa wanaambiwa tulisha kukamata Bwana ananiambia wafungua watu hawa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai wao yes. waliokamatwa na majini waliokamatwa na maagenti waliokamatwa na wachawi waliokamatwa na waganga ninakuamuru wachilie mtu huyu na hilo jini jini makata There are so many people that are used by demons and they do not want to be used by demons but you can see that you are used by demons because of the things that you're doing by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ I command you devil I command you to release these people get out of them right now Mauti death Ninaona msalaba kila wakati familia yenu inakufa uko wenu unakufa unazika leo kesho mtaenda huku kesho mnaenda huku kesho mna bwana ananiambia kwa sababu baba zako kuna mtu aliuaga mtu miaka hiyo ya zamani bwana ananiambia komesha hiyo mauti i see a cross because in your family you are you are burying this one today in a few uh, weeks you are burying another one god is telling me in your family there is one who has killed someone so god is telling me to see bwana na komesha hiyo mauti sees the death awe mauti kwenye hilo poma that death in that in, in that family in that home ninaona misalaba ya watu waliozikwa anawekwa msalaba naona msalaba lakini nakuta huyu ni wako huu huyu ana karibu hapo hii ni jamii hii na hiyo roho imewekwa alama kwenye ulimwengu wa roho kwa sababu ya mababu hawa roho ya mauti the spirit of death i see crosses there is a lot of graves i see yes. crosses because people have been brought as this name and this other name bwana anakukamea wa mauti kwenye hiyo familia god is rebuking the spirit of death in this family bwana anakupinga wa roho ya mauti kwenye hiyo familia god is against the spirit of death in this family in the mighty name of jesus kwa jina kuu la yesu kristo kadi ninavyoomba naona hiyo msalaba inaanza kufutika inaanza kufutika bwana anambia angalia angalia watoto wangu walioachiliwa lana ya kifo watu wamekufa wasio na hatia kwa sababu wengine wamelogwa tu kwa sababu ya wivu kwa sababu ya chuki kwa sababu ya mashamba hawa lana ya mauti i see those uh, crosses disappearing and god is telling me look at my children i'm intervening on the spirit of death that the people were suffering and they dying but god has intervened Jesus. Yesu. Nakutanga na hiyo mauti. I separate you from the death. Hakuna kifo tena kwenye hiyo familia. There is no death in that family again. Ya tocha. It's enough. Majeni achilia watu famuza. Demons release the people's mindsets. Majeni mliotumwa na waamuru 
The demons that you send, I command you turn back and leave. I close the door from hell over this family. Release these families. Release the back of this person. Jesus. Yes. The cross of being separated in your in your marriage. The mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Kila silaha. Every weapon. Eliatumiwa na maadui kuwaloga. That was sent by the enemy to bewitch you. Kila silaha. Every weapon. Eliatumiwa na maajanti kuwaloga. That was sent by the agents to curse you to bewitch you. Nina haribu hizo silaha. I destroy those weapons. Nina haribu haya majini. I destroy those demons. Nina haribu ya kifo. I destroy the death. Kwa jina lasa. In Jesus name. Kuna baadhi ya watu wamelishwa vitu vya kufisha kwenye matumbo kama tumbo yako ina shida mrefu mrefu shika na tumbo lako wakati tunapoomba Bwana anambia kama ana ila ana waliolishwa Some people they were fed unclean foods if you're suffering on your stomach God is instructing the man of God to rebuke that spirit because Nina, you ate unclean food Ninaona roho ambayo imegeuka kuwa nyoka kwenye tumbo lako I see a spirit that has turned to become a snake in your stomach. Inazunguka kwenye tumbo lako. It turns in your stomach. Ewe nyoka. You snake. Wewe nyoka wa kiroho. You serpent the spiritual. Uliokaa kwenye tumbo. Yes. You're sitting in this people's stomach. Kaweka chini ya binti huyo. Disappear and leave this girl. Kaweka chini ya huyo mtu. Disappear and leave this man. Wewe nyoka. You serpent. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Uliyoshika uzao wa watu wao. That you have Bound, you are bound this uh, generation this God is rebuking you The sword of God is upon you The sword of the Holy Spirit is upon you In Jesus name na kutakasa na kufungua fahamu yako katika jina la Yesu. I cleanse you and open your mindset in Jesus name. Na kutakasa na kufungua fahamu yako katika jina la Yesu. I open your mindset in Jesus name. Watu wengi wamepitishiwa magonjwa. There's a lot of people that their sickness are upon them. Yamepitia kwenye fahamu zao. They came through your mindset. Baada ya kuachiliwa kitu ambacho kila wakati kilikuwa kinazunguka kwenye ufahamu wako kwenye kumbukumbu yako. Something was sent it goes around your memory, it goes around your mindset. Na kutakasa ufahamu wako. I purify your mindset. Na ile njia ya maadui waliopitia kiroho kushika ufahamu wako kisha kuachilia magonjwa na kutenga na hiyo roho. And the way that the witch the witch doctors and the agents have used to capture your mindset and your understanding and confuse you, I rebuke you and I separate you from that spirit. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name.